Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and today I'm going to show you something a little different. Whoa, what is Quickie Baby doing in a 2 or 3 tank? Well, guys, I'm playing with Peppy Pepper. She's just made a new account. She's played a total of about 25 or 30 games of World of Tanks at the moment. She's playing in a T46. I'm playing in a PZ1C. I even had to look at the name there because I had to get it right. That's how little I know about these low tier tanks these days. So I'm off ahead scouting using my binoculars and my excellent crew skill. I don't think I've got six cents in this tank so I'm playing quite cautiously at the moment. I told Peppy to just be careful and I just got shot at which means that yeah I, I've definitely been spotted. Here we can see Amada, and we can see that our little flat cannon is absolutely starting to decimate his very thin armor and we take him down. 154 of his health there with our salvo. Fortunately it looks like he hit us as well, yep, right in the turret. And that's a very nasty tank. Amada's got an excellent gun on it. So right now, me and Peppy were on Skype. We were talking through what was happening, I was just saying be cool because there's some dangerous tanks out there right now. So I go after this um, UE57 and I notice I'm getting shot in the flank. I warn Pepe, oh my god there's people shooting us in the back. But I picked up the kill there on that little scout. So there you can see I tell Pepe, follow me. So she comes up here and we begin our uh, assault on the hill. So right now I'm thinking Okay, I'll try and use my binoculars to get the spots off on the tanks that are coming from the west. So I just sit here and wait. And I tell Peppy, just wait until I get the spots. And when I've got the spots, come and assist me. So this PZ1C is just chilling. There he is. Peppy fires her first shot. I don't want to reveal my position right now because I'm just the one doing the spotting. Closer, better, warmer, and I decide to unload on him. Fortunately, at this range, this flat cannon is incapable of going through his armor. Way, Peppy makes the hit, gets her first kill. And then I try and take the side of, off this PZ 38T. So, so far, that whole salvo, I did 30 damage to the PZ 38, but Peppy's getting her accuracy on. Here we go. She takes that one out as well. So right now we're down three tanks. The enemy has got three tanks more than us for a split second there. Now two tanks. And I'm just going to be spotting. I'm trying to penetrate the side with my flat cannon. As you can see it's possible to do some damage. But you have to fire a lot of shots for any of them to be able to go through. Then we've got a, a Chiha coming up here. I unload on him. Done 32 damage to him so far. Whoa, 49 total, and Peppy gets the kill. So I'm not sure if the enemies can even see us. It's likely that those guys have not even got 100% skill crews. It's a huge advantage to have a 100% crew. Um, having binoculars as well is a massive advantage in low tiers. If you really have good camo rating and a high skill crew, you can really dominate low tiers. This is what I would call pub stomping or noob stomping. If I was only to play in tier 3 tanks, I wouldn't be happy unless I got 3 kills on average a game and finished top maybe in at least half or 3 quarters of my games on my team. It's pretty unfair really and that's why you guys don't see me post many low tier tanks on my channel. But Peppy's got to start somewhere. I'm just spotting. I don't want to get shot yet. I'm worried that he's aiming at me and I've only got one shot left in me. Now he's not aiming at me. I try and unload on him, but yeah, right. Like I'm going to be able to get through uh, the side of a 38 with this tank. I do track him and I aim at his tracks now to try and keep him tracked. Just keep him tracked. I've done no damage to him so far. Now currently, Pepe's finding out, considering this is her 20th game, 
Why can't I aim down on him? She's saying. She's like, why can't I aim down on him, Mr. Wiggle Baby? And I'm saying, well, welcome to Russian gun depression. Unfortunately, she cannot aim down, so she's trying really hard to find the angle to get the the way to aim down. But yeah. I think everyone finds that in their first first few games that they literally are wondering why can't my tank aim down and you realize wow they're not designed to really be like flanking and shooting down on tanks so this isn't really a, a realistic idea so here we go we've got the back of this 38 we're still unable to penetrate him so I aim for his tracks instead but Peppy makes the kill bringing her total up to four and the moment she's using, I think, the 76mm on the T46, which is a pretty powerful gun for the tank. But what can you say? So right now, I reckon we're getting flanked. I ping the map there, telling Peppy that I think they're going to come from there. But fortunately, we get our spot off. So I say, let's go after him. Let's go after him. We can get him. It's a PZ2. So I'm just going to poke out here to try and get a respot, but I don't get the respot, so I pull back. And there we go, we find out where one of their PZ2s is, are, and the one below us. Fortunately, this little light tank does have quite good gun depression for a German tank. And I start to unload, and this is just, that's just domination. But the Peppy comes in for the kill steal. Oh my word. We put her on five kills. I'm going like, what? How can you be out shooting me? How can you be carrying me right now? This is crazy. How can you be carrying me? I played, what, 17,000 games? She's played 25 to 30 and she's outplaying me really hard. So we're doing some good teamwork here, really. Right, so I'm thinking, okay, the cruiser's not AFK because he's got a kill. But my XVM is also telling me that he's never been spotted. So I think, based on that, that he must be camping at the A4 campy spot. So what I tell Peppy to do is to go west. Go west, Peppy, and I will spot from here. I sit in the bush, wait for my binoculars to... Oh, I didn't quite wait for my binoculars act to activate. I really should have waited for my binoculars to activate there. That was some bad play. But still, we've just got to find that cruiser. I go and hug the ridge line and make it to the next bush location. I really want to find out where he is without getting spotted. Right now, I bravely tell my woman, you go forth and scout for me as I only have one shot left in me. <laughs> no. I tell her to get into the bush and I will go off and try and engage this guy. So right now I'm trying to get the jump on this cruiser. I'm looking where his turret is turning. I'm telling Peppy to be careful, but now's my chance. I go in. I decimate him a little bit more. And then Peppy takes the kill. Can you believe it? Her first ever Top Gun. First ever Top Gun. That's ridiculous. Ah, oh, I was freaking out more than she was. I don't think she realized the gravity of the situation, that she just got her first Top Gun within the first, like, 30 games that she played. It was pretty sick. So let's take a look at some post-game stats. So here we go. We can see that we're able to get 2,364 for our double in our Tier 3 tank, which is quite nice experience. We hit three quarters of our shots, which is amazing considering the range that I was firing at. So we were still able to hit 76%, that we did 530 damage which probably means that we penetrated something like 66 of those 300 shots that hit the target. So, wow. Shows you what this little flak pop cannon is capable of. So now we're looking at Peppy's stats. She fired 17 shots that game. Of those 17, she hit 10 shots. She's using the 76 millimeter. It's not the most accurate gun, but we can see that with those 10 shots, she was able to do 655 damage. She did the most damage in the game and secured the kills. She definitely secured those kills. And what you, what can you say? It was just a fantastic game. I felt so happy to be playing with Peppy. What should you guys take from this? That you can get your 
friends into the game and play with them. And starting from even tiers three, I think you can have a lot of fun with each other, just playing around and backing each other up and supporting. And I think if you closely watch your friends, then you can get them, you can accelerate their learning in the game and get them to get good fairly quickly. I think Peppy has been helped by the fact that she's probably been watching my replays and my streams for the last six months, but... So she had a fairly good starting point, but wow, hats off to her, what a beast game. To get a top gun in your first 30, that's a pretty good effort. And I've got other screenshots which show that this really isn't um, a one-off. Here we can see another game where she finished top in on the damage. She basically carried me there as well, that's a great effort. I've had so much fun playing with her at tier 3. Unfortunately when we got to tier 4, we encountered uh, a big problem. We were trying to do a lot of playing on a weekend where the tier 5 and 6 tanks were on a special. One thing that you find at the low tiers is that you really can only engage same tier tanks and lower tier tanks if you're a beginner. When you start to learn how to play the game you can figure out how to engage higher tier tank. But what I found is that Pepe was using a T28 which is the tier 4 Russian medium and I found it very very hard to try and find engagements where a T28 can, for example, try and engage a, a KV-1 or a Panzer IV, let alone facing a VK-3601. I found that Tier 4 was an absolute nightmare tier to play. I'd say that it's probably one of the hardest tiers to try and grind through. So if any of you are, are new tank players or you're trying to get your friends into the game, watch out for Tier 4 because it could be quite painful. I think that tier 5 then becomes a bit of a sweet spot where you can start to really learn about the weak points on the tanks and how to use your armor because before tier 5 in most of the tanks really you don't have armor worth mentioning. It's kind of more of a sniper game where you just have to hit the target and kill them before they kill you. I'd say it was really good for me as an experience to go back to the low tiers. I realized that it's a completely different game and you have to play completely differently. I fully recommend to all of you players who have maybe not played the low tiers in a while to go back and take a look at it because you can still learn some things from the way that some players play. You can predict what they do and what a, what a, a novice player will do in a certain situation and then you can take that and use that to your advantage in the upper tiers when you see maybe a basic player and then how you can outplay them. Plus let's not forget it's just so much fun to play in the low tiers, just bomb it around and just go oh, I don't care and just go in guns blazing at times as well. Yeah it's a lot of fun. So guys I hope you enjoyed this video, it was about showing that you can just play with your friends at low tiers and have quite a lot of fun. Even if they don't really know how to play the game they can pick it up quite quickly and by the stage of the first 30 games or so they can be in it with a chance. Hats off to Peppy for getting a Top Gun in her first 30 games. Pretty crazy. I, I couldn't believe it. I don't, don't even think I got a Top Gun in my first few hundred games. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And many of you guys have requested seeing a bit of the Peppy play. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. You've been epic. Hopefully I'll see you soon.